Hello there, my name is Peter, I'm the web developer and the owner of the company WebAcon. And uh, today we'll be looking at a new module that we have just created for our clients. Um, this module has been built for one of our clients, it's called uh, 6A Solutions. And um, I can give you a quick overview. Uh, so the module is an application for people to fill out um, their uh, job positions and to apply for different job positions. So when we click find work, you'll see that this module is located right over here. The owner of the company is able to list different positions that are available within the company. Uh, he can or she can attach uh, more details, which will open up a specific uh, uh, page uh, PDF file with additional details for the job that's offered. It can be a PDF file. Uh, we just added some dummy text here and uh, dummy PDF file. And uh, there is an Apply uh, Now button. And when we click Apply Now button, you can see this specific position is IT Manager at IBM, for example. When they click Apply Now, it will take them to the application page, which will specify Apply Now for IT Manager at IBM. It will also list the application for IT Manager for IBM. And the user cannot change this because uh, they came to this page specifically from that um, location. If they're going to go back and click Tyco Electronic Engineer Apply Now, it will specify Tyco Electronic Engineer and will list uh, the application for Tyco Electronic Engineer. So now <clears throat> when they add their information here, they will upload their um, their resume right here. They will click submit and that's going to go directly to the owner of uh, in this case 6A solutions and they will have a field within the email that will specify that this application is specifically for Tyco Electronic Engineer. Okay, so uh, how do we quickly and easily um, create this functionality for other websites. We have developed uh, a system, a platform that allows us to uh, put uh, to keep track of all of our scripts. And uh, it's really a, a project with other web developers who are also helping out with uh, script creation. Um, and this specific block is within forms and applications. If we click here, we're going to click on forms, actually, sorry, applications. And there it is. Uh, the name for it is A0009. When we expand it, we'll get a bunch of files that we can use to integrate. Now, this module comes with ACF um, integration, advanced custom fields. There's an option without ACF, but I highly recommend you to use advanced custom fields because it really allows um, client the ease of modification of the uh, of this module. <clears throat> so how does the client able to administrate this page? Let's have a look at the backend administration for this page. Uh, he has ability to change the title, the main title of the entire page, subheader, and that's where the actual posts, positions are listed. Uh, title, IT Manager at IBM, uh, the description, additional information which will be a file and a link to the application um, page where, the, where we have the form hosted. He can add a new uh, position, new job, he can add description, I'm just going to copy paste this here, he can add a different file, let's just add the same file. And again, we're going to uh, select Apply Now as a page. So as, sim as simple as that, we're going to click Update. When we go back to the page, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, I think I lost it. All 6A, let's go back to it. Find work. Here we go. That's our new job post right here. Now, <clears throat> this is really cool. Um, when we click Apply Now, it has a new job uh, listed here. Let's uh, have a look at how we can 
very quickly and easily add it to a new website. So we have a new website that we're working on right now. It's actually my wife's website, uh, tanyasmarsarstherapy.com. And um, let's try to add this module into her website. For that, we're going to go to WordPress administration. I'm also going to navigate over to, to her page right here. Close out of the scripts here. Let's go to the home page. So how about that we add this module on the home page after the social platforms are listed. I'm going to show you where I'm thinking to add it. How about we add it after the latest news social module? So we're going to go to to her page over here and we're also going to look into uh, advanced custom fields ACF boot because we do have uh, some instructions here of the process that we need to take in order to assemble this. So first of all we need to download all of the files. We're going to need to download the JSON file which is right here. We're going to need to download the template file and we need to download the form double file. Now that we have all of the files downloaded we're going to look at them within the folder downloads folder. I'm going to unzip all of this. Oh, it unzipped it, just the first one. Okay. Extract all. I just move them out of the folders so it's easier to work with them. Okay, first of all, we have the PHP file that we need to add to. Uh, well, let's let's just follow the uh, get ahead of myself. Um, so add template file to the directory. So we'll take this template file, going to copy it, going to go to her folder, going to add it right here. All right, so now we have apply now page. We're going to upload it. This is our template file for the application. <coughs> Go to WordPress, create a job application page and set the uh, page uh, template to find work page. Okay, so we need to go to Tennis Massage Therapy. We're going to go to pages. Uh, we're going to create a new page. We're going to title it uh, job application. You can title it anything, but what's really important is um, it has to be an apply play, apply page. I'm going to click publish. All right. So uh, the next task: import formidable forms. Import. Okay. So we're going to go to formidable forms. Um, import export. Going to choose file. Upload file and import. Okay, we have just imported the file. Uh, what we need to do is make sure that your application page shows the form a double form. Okay, so we need to have a look at the the actual page that we have just created. Double import export pages. 
job application. Let's select a valid form. Okay, uh, that's fine. We're going to go to form double forms. Uh, we have apply now. I'm going to click that settings and insert with PHP. We need to copy this code. Temp apply now. We need to replace this with this. Basically, change the. Uh, we need to specify proper form ID, so we actually pull up the right form. There we go, that's our job application uh, page. Okay, so add CSS to the style sheet. Let's just copy CSS quickly here. Style sheet. I like to add everything at the very bottom. Just like that. You'll see that it will change slightly. Looks a lot nicer now. Add HTML to the page that you want to see the job posts. So we're going to copy HTML. We're going to go to home page. As I mentioned that we want to add it at the very end. Let's add it right here. Save it. Go to Advanced Custom Fields and Import JSON file to import fields. Uh, make sure to specify specific page template where you need, uh, they need to appear. Okay, so we have downloaded the JSON file already, um, and we're going to go now to to Advanced Custom Fields Tools. Select file. That's going to be our JSON file, this one, open, import file. Okay, it has been imported, but remember uh, that we needed to specify specify specific page template where they need to appear. Okay, we're going to go to field groups within the custom fields. We're going to click this new imported group and post template. <coughs> needs to be our apply no home page that's where it needs to be okay so it has been uh, applied to be on the home page let's go back to our pages oops we need to click update going to click going to go to your home page there we go that's our module uh, because it's going to be at the very bottom i want to move it down so the backend administration of the website has the same flow as the, as the actual home page. Let's title this um, Career Opportunities. <coughs> and I'm not going to try to quickly put together something, I'm just going to add uh, subheaders, some Latin text, just like that. All right, and let's add some items. As you can see, advanced custom fields, uh, the file that we have imported, comes with a bunch of different um, options and functionalities. Um, let's say we're looking for a new massage therapist. Massage therapist. <coughs> And this is going to be our description for the massage therapist that we're looking for. Like that. Um, let's just add a dummy file. PDF file. I don't have PDF file. An image file will do. Uh, let's <clears throat> add a link here. Uh, so this is going to link to our job application page. Just like that. Right, um, let's add another one. Uh, we're looking for receptionist. So I'm going to add some filler text. 
I'm actually not going to add any files here and let's link it to job application. Okay, so we have added those two items, those two job posts. We're going to update the website page. <clears throat> let's have a look if it actually reflects. There you go. Career opportunities. We have um, two applications and the person can apply. Sorry, two posts. A person can apply to one of them. Let's click apply. And there we go. Uh, massage therapy, application for therapist and uh, it's working. Let's go back. Receptionist, same thing. It's working. Now you can see that we have an error because um, the recapture is not set up. So um, I haven't set up recapture just yet for this website. Uh, but it really took us <coughs> how many? 15 minutes um, with all of the explanations to put a very fairly complex module together. Uh, and it gives power to end user to actually add posts themselves. Now what I want to um, explain further about advanced custom fields. ACF boot um, library, it's not a free library. Uh, if we log out of it, uh, we can join now. You can see that it is $1 per month for the first month and then it's $4.99 uh, for per month ever after but by signing up to this um, plan you get a lot of really cool options uh, for example if we go to blogs and social uh, you are able to <coughs> really get some really high-end quality uh, modules for your website and everything is explained how to install it with all of the even sometimes we have a video that explains how to install things. Um, now this project, is, this ACF boot project is still under development and um, we don't have that many modules in here yet but uh, we're still working on it. If you, that's why the price is so low at this time because um, it's still under development. But even with what we have right now there's a fairly large number of um, elements to choose from. And they are extremely well programmed. High, high quality programming. That's why it's more of an association between different developers at this time. So we're actually working together to put this uh, library for all of us to use. So feel free to join in if you're a web developer. If you are not a web developer, if you need a website, um, I'll be happy to build a website for you. Uh, my company is Webeka. Um, I do get overbooked sometimes and I do have uh, other people, other developers that use the same library to build um, websites for clients. So if I cannot take your project, I have somebody who will be able to take on uh, the project and deliver the results in the same high quality manner as I do. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, please hit a like button uh, and please leave a comment. Uh, as simple as uh, thanks for the video really helps with the channel. Um, it helps it grow. And uh, if you have any questions, um, leave uh, your questions within the comment section of the uh, of the YouTube video, and I'll be happy to answer those. Thanks. You have a good day.